what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's youtube tutorial i'm going to be covering a blowout taper with a textured fringe so first things first i'm going to go ahead and start off this haircut with the number four guard all the way open just to debulk some of the weight that my client had throughout his parietal ridge that way when i come back and start the fade i have an actual foundation to blend into so now that i have the foundation set with my trimmer guideline I'm going to come in with no guard lever all the way open on my Gamma Instinct Clippers and I'm going to go up about half an inch with this guideline and I'm not going to blend it out quite yet. I'm actually going to wait until the end of the fade to blend it out. So I'm going to follow this guideline using the one and a half guard all the way closed, followed by some clipper over comb using that same guard on the clippers. And I went ahead and opened the lever all the way just to blend that guideline out into the bulk. That way we just have to come back and erase that middle guideline. So now that I have that step complete, I'm gonna go ahead and put the blur guard on my clippers all the way open. And this is now cutting the hair down to a one and a half guard length, just because the blur guard does give uh, the guard a little bit more length, which is why it cuts a little longer than the, the short one, which I really like. So if y'all haven't checked out the blur guard, be sure to check it out. I would highly recommend it. And here I'm just cleaning up my client's C, C cups before I erase that last guideline. And now that I have that complete, I'm gonna go ahead and use no guard lever all the way closed just to erase that last guideline. And this is where I'm gonna start opening the lever one notch at a time just to blend up into the fade. And I really like this fading system right here because you guys won't find yourself struggling um, to erase that last guideline as well as pushing your fade too high and right here I'm just cleaning up my client's neckline with the trimmers doing some trimmer over comb to debulk his beard and this right here is honestly a game changer if you guys haven't tried it with your clients that have beards I'd highly recommend it and you guys will be able to get a much more crispier line and these clippers right here aren't even zero gapped. These are actually my soft trimmers and you guys can see how sharp they are still able to cut. And if you guys do wanna uh, check these clippers out and get your hands on them, feel free to use my discount code NEVIN10 on the Gamma website to save you guys some money. And again, right here, just doing some trimmer over comb to debulk behind my client's ear and right beneath his occipital bone. And when you guys are doing this part when you're cleaning up behind your client's ear with the trimmers you really just want to keep it as natural as possible right at your uh, client's natural hairline that way when the haircut grows back everything will grow in nice and evenly and i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same exact steps on the other side of my client's head sort of start off this taper i'm going to use the four guard all the way open followed by some clipper over comb using that same guard and this is really just getting a nice clean transition into the bulk up into the parietal ridge bone of my client and now with my gamma instinct trimmers setting in that first guideline followed by no guard lever all the way open going up about half an inch and I'm gonna follow this guideline using the one and a half guard all the way closed. And again, as always, I'm gonna do some clipper over comb up into that four guard. That way we have a nice clean transition from the top of our fade up into the bulk. And to erase that middle guideline, I'm gonna use the blur guard all the way open, which again, like I mentioned earlier, this guard does cut all the way up to the one and a half guard when the lever's open. And now to erase that final guideline, I'm just gonna do some lever play, closing the lever as needed to flick out that last guideline and get a nice clean blurry transition. And with those few simple steps, you guys can see how I, how I was able to achieve a nice clean blurry taper. And if you guys haven't tried this, uh, method out I would highly recommend it I did actually create this fading system myself and that's really the beauty about barbering there really is no right or wrong way to cut you guys just have to find what works best for you at the end of the day 
but like i said personally this is my favorite fading technique at the moment and it does work on all hair texture which is really cool so like i said if you guys haven't given it a shot feel free to try it out and let me know how it works out for you guys and if you guys do want to see any other haircut tutorials feel free to mention them in the comments and i will get the tutorial out for you guys and if you guys are new to my channel i do appreciate all the feedback and support that i get so feel free to hit that subscribe button if you do want to see weekly barber content and with the one guard all the way open i'm just knocking down the flyaways on my client's mustache following it up with the trimmers to clean any hairs that were overgrown on the lip and now i'm going to come in with my straight edge razor to clean up my client's beard and it's really all these small details that really make your haircut come alive and make it stand out so just be patient with the haircut and the steps as you guys are going through barbering is one of those things that really requires a lot of patience but once you master the skill set and you start to learn how you know how to master your system on each client it honestly just feels like second nature after you guys start you know getting more consistent with it but you guys will start to build what i call the barber's eye you know the more you start cutting hair and getting familiar with the clippers so don't be too hard on yourself if you're a beginner barber or you know just just getting into the industry cutting hair does take you know a lot of time and it is a lot harder than what it looks like but just be patient with yourself and like i said if if one fading system doesn't work out for you guys you can always experiment with other fading systems and whatnot and here on the back you guys can see that i'm doing my fading steps a little bit differently just to show you guys that you can really like i mentioned right now that you can really do any system to get a fade done it really just depends on what works best for you but here i started off with the one guard open followed by the two guard open and now i'm doing some shear over comb into the bulk right above my client's occipital bone and whenever you guys are doing tapers it's very important that you that you keep that blend beneath the occipital bone on the back otherwise if you guys do go above the occipital bone at that point it basically is a fade so just be sure to keep that blend nice and low whenever you guys are fading out the back and here i got no guard lever all the way closed i'm just flicking out that last guideline and i'm opening the clipper one notch at a time and little by little the fade is starting to come together as you guys can see you really just want to try and focus on getting a nice clean transition from the 1.5 down to the double zero just because the fade happens from the one and a half down to the skin and everything above the one and a half is basically just blending up into the bulk and the crown area of your client so just keep that in mind whenever you guys are cutting hair and if you guys have learned anything in this tutorial so far please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment letting me know what you guys think i do appreciate all the feedback so thank you for anyone who tunes into my videos i really appreciate you guys And now I went ahead and put the blur guard all the way open just to blend out that last guideline and get a nice clean transition from the 0.5 into the 1.5. And you guys can see how I was able to still get a nice clean transition even though I did different steps. So feel free to try out any one of the two methods that I just showed you guys. They are very um, easy steps and they also execute very clean fades as well. And here I'm just going over the stubble with my Uno Skin Shaver from Gamma. And I really like this shaver right here. It's small, but honestly it's very powerful. So if you guys wanna get your hands on this as well, feel free to use my discount code Nevin10 on the Gamma website. And here for the front, my client did want a textured fringe. He did wanna uh, maintain most of the length on his crown. So I'm basically just cleaning all the dead flyaways right on his fringe. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a method called slithering with my shears. And basically all this is doing is just texturizing and thinning out the bulkiness of my client's hair. And it's also giving it some volume so it doesn't look as flat 
you know, whenever he styles it. And this is a very simple yet effective technique to use with the shears as well. You guys just want to go at a 45 degree angle. And you guys can see that my client now has some texture on his fringe and it doesn't look as flat. But that is about it for today's haircut tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.